Hi, this is Terry McMillan. I'm the author of Who Asked You? And this is MadamNoir.com. No, I didn't even know the book Waiting to Exhale was going to do as well as it did. It's like having a baby. All you hope is that people think it's cute, right? But I didn't know they were going to think it was that cute. I think that women seem to identify with it. There's hardly a week or so that goes by on Twitter that somebody's not telling me, girl, I just saw it again for the 20th time. Because I think certain things are about our spirit and our hearts that are universal. Getting to Happy, right now I'm not real sure um, about getting to Happy as a film. Someone else was scheduled to write the script because after Whitney passed away, myself and another writer, Lori Lakin Hutchison, we had turned, just turned in our script two weeks before Whitney passed away. And then the head studio head said, you know, let's try to write this without that character. And I disagreed with them. So I opted not to write another draft. I basically thought about a lot of different women who I had researched. Basically, different people had introduced me to them once I told them I was interested in writing a story about a woman who ends up raising her grandchildren. So in some cases, my friends said, you know, my grandma raised me. So I just wanted to be able to show someone who wasn't quite a stereotype in a sense in that she was a caregiver for more than just her grandson. She also had a husband who was suffering at the beginning stages of dementia. And also she had family members who thought that she should make different choices than those that she did make. Right now, no. I'm available. But they have to be at least 50. <laughs> Maybe 48. I try to show the beauty of love and the disappointments that it can cause. Love is probably, to me, the most magical feeling in the world and you don't find it very often, as much as people would like to think. I don't have any regrets about any of the men I've ever loved, including my ex-gay husband. I don't have one. I don't know who does. If I had to choose one or two or three, I would say 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Anything by J.D. Salinger, Ring Lardner, Haircut and Other Stories, and The Blue Eye by Toni Morrison. That's five.